liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis. Hello, I'm Ross Berland. I'm an editor and analyst for FX Street. And I wanted to take a look at the week ahead. Um, it's starting out very quiet. It's the month of August. We're in the middle of that. But people are going to be returning. However, the way I see it, we are heading to trouble. Um, I've been advocating this for quite some time. I don't think the Fed are ever going to be in a position to raise rates. And this is something I want to look at. We've got the Jackson Hole approaching this week, where central bankers and, and Janet Yellen, uh, the governor of, of the Federal Reserve, will be convening. And <clears throat> I'm sure we're going to be addressing many of the things which I am concerned about. But I'm beginning to become more and more concerned uh, the way that certain Fed members are acting. We had Dudley and Williams last week speaking out. The dollar got a lift on the back of it. So did yields. However, please look into this mantra. Look behind where this is about to go. Williams, for instance, he is talking about raising the what used to be inflation target um, ceiling, which has now become a full-blown target. So I don't know how that quite works. However, so we're going from 2%, and instead of talking about negative rates, what Williams is starting to say is, yes, he is admitting that the US economy is an ailing economy. He admits that production growth is barely existent and economic growth is really hitting a wall. But his medicine is more of the same sedatives, but this time around we're talking about raising the inflation target. Now, we don't know where his target is. He didn't say that. Whether it's going to be 2.5%, 3%, 4% or 5%, where does this end? Uh, but it is indeed very, very worrying. And when he looks at GDP, you know, he wants to look at a, a fantasy type of recovery in the US economy. And he's talking about removing, um, well, instead of looking at the real GDP, he's looking at nominal GDP, which which includes the inflation um, that, that is existent in the economy, which is, is really a nonsense. So... It's going to be very interesting to see uh, how this pans out, uh, whether other members of the Federal Reserve are adopting the same type of fix for a situation which really cannot improve. Now, we're heading towards the elections, and if history has anything to tell us, um, then an interest rate hike, if one is going to come, it could come just before the elections. Um, because what happens usually is a new presidential administration has to has to repair the damage of the previous term from from the other administration, and usually what happens is an interest rate hike comes along, um, which is seen to be positive in that um, it's essentially a, a way of saying that you know the U the, the U S economy requires one, um, but in the eventuality that there is a rate hike, um, it actually tends to pop the bubble. Um, and, you know, the stock markets are in a bubble, as is the housing market. So, yes, there could be some initial support in, in such a circumstance for the dollar. But I would feel that would lead to um, a huge sell-off in 2017. Now, whether the Fed hike rates or not, if they don't, then what is that telling us? That's telling us that, that, they, that they are losing confidence in their own strategy and their own targets, and therefore the markets will also lose complete confidence in the Federal Reserve, and that could also, well, it would be, a uh, detriment to the dollar. So where is all this heading? Well, it can only be heading towards QE4. Um, it has to be for 2017. You see, Williams was also talking about increasing the deficit as if it wouldn't increase naturally as the US economy worsens as enters recession. It's already running at around about 600B. So where will it go? 
1 trillion, 2 trillion? Because, I mean, QE4 will have to be bigger than QE1, 2, and 3 put together. So that is highly bearish for the dollar, um, in stark contrast to uh, gold and commodities, for instance. So um, while the Fed decide to concentrate on uh, a fake recovery and, and looking at only nominal GDP, uh, that leads me to, uh, to remind us that at the end of this week, not only do we have Yellen speaking uh, at the Jackson Hole, um, we have the uh, GDP for the US economy. Now, casting your minds back, not only uh, were there revisions to uh, the first quarter, um, for the US, there were revisions to the last quarter of 2015, you know, <laughs> at a time when the when the Fed uh, uh, rose interest rates and then, in my opinion, um, you know, put on the brakes and actually took an easing bias um, ever since they decided not to not to continue increasing interest rates. So um, anyhow, so for the week ahead, uh, bearish on the dollar. Uh, keep your wits about you for the end of the week because it is get bound to be a busy week as as full liquidity returns to markets um, as we're, we're we're coming out of the holiday seasons now. Um, we've got the Olympics that have uh, uh, you know finished and well done to America who are at least leading in something. Uh, a fine result in the uh, in the gold medals there and well done Team GB. Excellent performance. So good luck for this week. Thank you. Bye bye. Two, one, and lift off of Space Shuttle Atlantis, the final visit to enhance the vision of Hubble into the deepest grandeur of our universe.